Ciao. Hello my Cancer friends, it's Guiding Halo here. This is going to be a short uh, full moon reading. It goes from now to five days from now. First out we have Two of Cups, which is all about joining together for some purpose of co-creating. So whether it's love, this is all about love in this card, whether it's partnerships, whether it's friendships, could be with family members, could be many things. But it's about joining together and deciding to join together for the process of co-creating with the divine in tandem. And perhaps there's justice coming to your love life, justice coming to a familial relationship. The scales of justice are going to be balanced regardless. There's your guys' energy. You could be dealing with air sign, uh, fire sign, or water sign such as yourself. I'm going to move this over here for a minute. You'll see why in a minute. Then we have what's coming up about this. Is it love or family? What is it? It's definitely love or an offer that's going to make someone emotional. Or someone's coming to you very emotionally, perhaps, to speak of something that has to do with a broken heart. Speak about something that has to do with... I'm getting feeling used, betrayed, and left for dead, kind of. Not kind of, but yes. Feeling like you gave someone everything and they just stabbed you. Not in the back, per se, but in the heart. So this Ten of Cups here is what's crossing you in this whole situation. So... What's crossing you is this Ten of Cups, which means you thought you had abundance with this person. You thought you had wishes granted. You thought you had peace and harmony. And that didn't happen. And there's justice coming to this, whatever broke this uh, couple up. There is justice coming to the situation. Truths are going to come out whether they are spoken by you or to you or through someone else. And maybe those truths that are going to be spoken are going to be what breaks your heart. Let's get some clarity from the wisdom of oracles. This could all about be all about meeting somebody new and deciding to offer them love. And you know that they can be your Ten of Cups, but there has to be justice in a situation you've left behind previously. So that it can heal this broken heart. So you can take those swords of wisdom out of that heart and combine them together to be one old big ace of swords truth for yourself. That's too many. Just, wow. <laughs> Just one, please. For my cancer friends. One please for my cancer friends. Sisters of the Seasons. Let's put that up a bit. Alright, we'll read that. Let's get a postcard from Spirit about this whole scenario. The cards are sticking together. It's like... I feel like if someone's trying to let go of somebody, it's just like you can't. You just can't seem to get them out of your system or anything. All right. Let's read this first one here. Okay. It's about Sister of the Seasons, Cycles of Growth, Natural Law, and Divine Order, card number eight. This could be dealing with how the fallout of a love relationship is affecting your finances. It could also be dealing with how a 
something happened or someone made a choice in this situation in order to create something or do something to end this. And I'm getting that it happened but behind the scenes and someone, whether it was you or them, was not aware that it happened and there was an abrupt end brought to it. But it seems to me it was just, this ending was just. It's card number 17. When the sisters of the seasons meet you on your path, they remind you that everything has a natural rhythm that obeys higher law. Just as the seasons magically pass, be reminded that the nature of birth, growth, harvest, and decay cannot be altered. So if you keep on your path with determination and discernment, allowing for the natural course of events to unfold, success is assured. Divine appropriate timing is guiding your desires into perfect manifested form. This is a very good period to start new things as you moved out of the winter into the beginning of spring. Continue with patience and be aware that the rhythms of your opportunities. There will be periods when things slow down and begin anew, move into fruition and then slow down again in a never ending natural flow. Be mindful of which sister greets you for she points directly at the next. Every moment counts now. So whatever decision you make here, whatever happened to what you feel uh, interrupt the natural flow, it's divinely guided it happened, hence divine justice coming in here to end something or for you to find something out about what was going on. So that foundation can go back and so you can go back to that foundation and repair it and fill all the cracks and the holes if this is to begin again. If it's not, you can still go back and repair all of those things that you missed uh, with building this relationship and, and understand them further so that it doesn't happen again in the next. As a challenger, the Sister of the Season sends you a warning that you're trying to jump the gun and go from winter to summer without paying heed to spring or skip from summer to winter without allowing for the possibility of autumn. Moving too quickly, looking for shortcuts, and artificially trying to prolong a hoped-for result will not yield what you desire. There are no shortcuts. It's time to rethink your plans. All your sisters are nature's cherished daughters and all are important. Be careful of the difficulties they force you to endure when you try to trick them away from each other. Better to let nature take her course. Her daughters will be very happy, and so will you if you let them express themselves in order. Dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect, even in its flaws, and we view the creations of spirit in total awe. All is unique yet part of a unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specified, or sorry, specific standard for what you consider ideal, and this isn't serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see through our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something. Instead, enter life with all its flossomeness. <laughs> I like that word, flossomeness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too, imperfect and human, complex or simple. It doesn't matter, for there is always something to discover, experience and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable, loving you like crazy. So. If this is all about you finding something out about someone and something ended or you ended something because of that, it, it truly is about waiting for divine timing to step in here and bring you this Ten of Cups. Perhaps you went from, oh, I like this person. Oh, I'm going to offer them love and we're going to be happy forever. Well, there's a whole lot of in-between in there or someone did this with you and it was divine justice that it ended, even though it broke someone's heart, because you have to go with the ebbs and flows. You, it, things rarely just go from zero to insanity in 0.2 seconds. So, you know, you need to, to go with the ebbs and flows of life and understand that a brief pause in action does not mean 
an ending. A brief pause in action most times means growth. And growth, when two people are growing, what can be brought together is far more superior than what was there in the beginning. Let's get two cards to finish off of clarification. Where are we going after this broken heart, please? Where are we going? Where are my cancer friends going after this broken heart, please? Where are my cancer friends going? Well, cards are just... First card is challenging messages. Back and forth challenging messages or someone coming at you with messages possibly of wisdom, truth, how they feel unfairly treated, or this could be you sending those messages. Just remember, people, please, my friends, gentle. Treat someone as you would like to be treated. Always. And then I see someone walking away from emotional turmoil and strength. And you're looking for your Nine of Cups. And what you thought was a Ten of Cups very possibly is not. So you're looking for your... It, I think you feel that there's just too much confusion here. There's too much confusion. Maybe it's one minute I love you and the next minute I don't. And then one minute, oh yeah, I'm in. And the next minute, oh, I don't know. And then it's just back and forth and back and forth. And I just, I don't think you guys can handle that type of ebb and flow. I think there needs to be some sort of... Uh, capable understanding of flow and rhythm. Now, flow and rhythm is not stop, start, stop, stop, start, start, stop. That's not flow and rhythm, okay? And things need to be talked about, which is communication, absolutely. So there is communication coming. It's very, impo very possible, I almost said impossible, that someone will walk away, but maybe you feel it's been entirely possible to walk away from this situation. But I do see that someone's gonna walk away, regardless of who it is. So it seems to me that the energy of this full moon for a lot of my cancers is about bringing justice to a situation that's just not working anymore. The 10 of cups is what you want, but it's crossing you and you're having a really hard time getting there. And it's entirely possible that what you thought this was isn't what this is. But if you go inward and ask the divine for clarity, it's entirely possible that you could find out that it's more than this could ever be. So there's many ways of looking at this. You guys will have to take it how it resonates. I hope you have a great next five days. Blessings to you.